What? You're a silent and a charging producer. I didn't think so. These poor souls believe Orshandor actually cares about them. But I do wonder how the Dwemer animunculi are helping him. Let's hope we can confront him soon. Maybe it makes sense to sleep in this comfortable stone bed, as all of us are tired, and this is an extensive ruin. A few hours of sleep should get us refreshed, and our magicka reserves replenished. As usual, we use illusion magic to whittle down the numbers. Something does not seem right. We seem to have a giant or a mutated enemy out there. Hmm. Okay, they are heading towards us. Let's get ready.
Afflicted Hulk. What sort of mutations are these? Orkindor is definitely up to something, and we should stop him. You can clearly see me standing here. Thank you, Scrap. Thank you for coming to my assistance. I was overpowered for a while. Are you very up to date with the goings on back in High Rock? I know many Bretons who seem to know updates to the political landscape instantly. No, Remy, I never cared for politics. Never will. Illusion magic has certainly done its job. If not for it, we had to fight our way against hordes of enemies here. they allow them to communicate with each other using their minds. Not completely unheard of. Us Argonians possess something similar.
I'm really not in the mood. And that's my stomach rumbling. Luckily, I prepared some snacks. Roasted sugar apples, or charred chorus titan. Sweet or savory? Hmm. Roasted sugar apples, please. Dwarven spheres. Some good old alteration magic should make them less scary. Yes, I have read about him. Can you imagine being the last surviving member of your race? I can't even imagine what Yagram Bagarn went through. Stop this! 
This is a massive ruin, partially built into natural caverns. I had read that Dwemer architecture consists mainly of dwarven metal and stone, and often incorporates subterranean magma in order to power the machinery and intricate mechanisms found within. After seeing this ruin, I believe what I read. I have been pondering this for a while, Remio. I'm not sure if you have done any research into this. Do the souls used to power Dremera and Amunculi have an impact on their thinking process? Oh, we're getting philosophical now, huh? In my experience, it really seems that the souls give them an awareness that other contraptions certainly lack. How central is the soul gem for the animunculi to function? Is it simply drawing power from it? Could one replace it with a different power source? It's definitely a power source, and it's hard to say whether the souls themselves are necessary or if the Dwemer just found them the most. the Dwemer were undoubtedly awful, but also brilliant. I don't imagine that their machines would have been quite so impressive if they'd gone another route with them. The ethical dilemma maybe doesn't bother me as much as it should. I just find myself wanting to know more. Yes, I suppose I have a sense of morbid curiosity with the Dwemer as well. It's easier to not be appalled with their cruelty with the knowledge that they aren't around anymore. Yes, that must be it. They're not here to do terrible things, so it's fine to be fascinated. Although I do hope that the souls in the animunculi aren't aware. I could never look Scrap in the face again. That is fascinating to think about, isn't it? Instead of souls leaving this mortal world and moving on to higher astral planes, they are trapped here in gems. I find soul trap magic disgusting for this reason. Who are we to stop the natural progression of souls? I wonder if the Dwemer ever pondered the ethics of it all. I'm sure they must have. what is present-day Morrowind. Of course, even their more distant cities in Skyrim and High Rock are lovely. I read some writings by Vivek that suggest the Dwemer vanished due to their attempts to use the Elnafe to make themselves divine. Yes, I did read about how Lord Kagranak chief architect of the Great Second Empire and the greatest enchanter of his time, was seeking immortality. His artifact, called Wraithguard, was one of the tools that he created for this purpose. Some believed his tampering with such forces was profane and terribly dangerous, and his use of these tools may have been responsible for the disappearance of the Dwemer. It is just a theory, though. No one can verify this. Must be getting close. 
close now. How much deeper do these ruins go? What in Shira's name is that? Think, Alara. Think. Alteration magic followed by restoration light spells. Got it. Dwemer Centurion, my first ever encounter.
are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. Ah, yes, I see it now. The Daedric Lord sent you, didn't he? You want to know why? Fine, if you insist. I hated dealing with him, hated having to answer to him. Oh, it took years, but I earned my way to the top. And finally, I'm in charge now. Ah, yes, so much power. And you know what? It's all mine. What's done is done. I don't regret it one bit. That's none of your business. I'm a busy man, and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. Now, time to die. Never sh come here. Neil, stop out of here. got trouble. Your ass is a punch, Settlement on a map and ponder what life is like. What was that? My spells are not doing any damage. And he is teleporting everywhere. It looks like he has a 100% magic resistance enchantment. Shoo. Glad that is done with. I have never seen teleportation magic used like that. I need to sit down for a while. Fortunately for him, though, it was no match for us. I'd say we managed to do a solid amount of damage here. I'm not sure what Periite's plan is going forward, but I imagine it has been significantly set back. If he even had a plan to begin with. I agree. Thank you, Cell. You did most of the damage. Thank you. Sunlight and blue skies, the things we take for granted. So do the ruins in Morrowind have as many traps as those here in Skyrim? Or were the Dwemer in this area just extra paranoid? Watch your step, by the way. I think this here might trigger a Dwemer slicer. Not many traps in the ruins of Morrowind. The armaments in those places, on the other hand. You mean the machines? Tell me. The Dwemer of Morrowind were more or less in constant conflict with the Nords and the Chimer. They 
were very intent on no one getting into their fortresses. If the Nords or the Chima found out the things they kept, they'd join together and wipe them out. Sure, sure, history lesson. Not that I don't love to learn from you, but I mean what the machines are like. How do they function? What do they look like? How powerful are they? Are they more or less sophisticated than those we see in Skyrim? They are quite similar, just larger and more robust. I'd certainly classify them as deadlier. A whole lot more of them, too. Here in Skyrim, we can usually catch a break from time to time. Oh, that sounds like paradise. When Nords die, they go to Sovngarde. When Remis die, they go to Dwemer Ruins and Morrowind. Well, I don't want you dead just yet, Remy. vessels for my blessing. It will spread to others through their touch and my own. Another overseer will replace Orchendo when the time comes. For now all is cleansed and ordered. I grant you a powerful token, an escutcheon of Dwemer Ming, capable of shielding you from both the spell and sword. And yet, you have done my bidding. Why, I wonder. Go, seek your fate. I will be watching. And perhaps we will meet again afterwards. Embrace order and hard truth, mortal. Goodbye. Spellbreaker? That's quite the reward. The shield is ancient and powerful. I'm not certain if it was Periite who created it, but he certainly holds great influence over it. Best not to get too attached to it. It doesn't stay in the possession of anyone for long, but it will likely be quite a boon for the duration that it does. The Spellbreaker is a very powerful artifact, but this may be more useful to Zell. I think we did well, and this time, I had wise companions to help me. Unfortunately, all that power from Periite got into Orchandor's head, and there was no other option than to kill him. I thought about destroying the Shrine of Periite, but I let it be. But I have to admit, every time I deal with a Daedric Prince, it leaves an unpleasant feeling. I wonder why that is.
All right, Elara's journey continues every Friday and Saturday. Consider smashing the like button if this video was relaxing or if it gave you some joy. Skyrim always delivers on that feeling, every time.